Good morning, everyone. It is like, oh yeah. It is November 21st. I had to look on my phone and there's a calendar like right there. But yes, it is almost Thanksgiving. I have been on a set for like the last month and a half working and it has been an incredible experience. And I wanted to do a little video about my experience. In the last month and a half, okay, I've been acting for two, like two and a half years now. And the last month and a half, I've got to meet my favorite A-list talent. And I'm gonna start with just these two. Vince Vaughn and John Malkovich are absolutely amazing. Vince Vaughn, he is the way that he was on Wedding Crashers. He's sporadic, he's all over the place, and the guy was amazing. John Malkovich. John Malkovich was, when you, when you think of a legend on screen, his name should really come to mind because the man, the man delivered. I would love to talk about some of the things that happened on this film, but I won't because my career would be shot like in a hurry if I did that and this video made it out. But Vince Vaughn, John Malkovich, I was a stand-in for Clark Duke. You may know Clark Duke from, I think he was on The Office. He was on Hot Tub Time Machine. And the guy was on, there, There's I know there's other projects out there, but those are the ones that I can think of him that he was in. I was his stand-in. Clark, this was his debut as a director. This is his first, his first feature as a director and it was done it, it was amazing uh, Clark has a massive future in the industry as a director he he did so well and man that's what I could say about that okay okay folks here it is Liam Hemsworth Liam was he was all right man like I I really enjoyed being able to talk to him to hang out with him and he's one of those guys that everyone's like oh my god you know he's he's he, he's a man. He is such a good person. Like, he's got a good heart. Talking about talking to him about everything that's been going on with the fires and everything. And you, you see a different side to these actors. You see their, their, their low levels, man. You see their low points. And I just like to stress that, you know, they're, they're humans like us too, you know. And they're... He, he's a phenomenal man. I got to hang out with him. I got to uh, chill with his assistant. His name is Matt. And they are such good people. Even like outside of the industry. Like they're, they're good, genuine people. Now let me think. There's Liam. Okay. Vivica Fox. Will Smith's wife on Independence Day. That's who that was. I did not realize that is who that was. Until we finally met, like I seen her and I'm like, I know her. Oh my God, man, she is an amazing actress. She was, it, she was, she was great. I mean, honestly, I, I enjoyed being able to hang out with all of these guys. And Vivica, it was absolutely amazing. And I'm trying not to forget anybody that's in there. Oh, and uh, let me go on the crew side here. Let's go to the side that you don't hear a lot about. Mr. Steven Meisler. He was the, I think they said that he was Spielberg's AC for a few years. Um, folks, basically what Steven did, he was the assistant of a legend on the camera. And Steven has a, has a reputation of his own now. You can go to his IMDB, look up Steven Meisler. Um, I think he AC'd Armageddon, Saving Private Ryan, um, uh, Catch Me If You Can, and I think he was actually an actor in Catch Me If You Can. I'm not too sure, but that's, that, that's Arkansas. That's the project we worked on. There was a lot of fantastic people. The crew, the crew was amazing, man. Not just the cast, but the crew, the crew was A-list. Come on. You can't, you can't get, like, any better than that. I mean, I, I really don't think you can get any better than that. Okay, now, I stood in one night on This Is The Year. Now, when I say This Is The Year, I'm talking David Henry, Bug Hall, um, Jake Short, Lorenzo Henry, 
and Vanessa Morano and Alyssa Jurls, if I pronounced that right. Um, I was a stand-in one night, found out they had one more spot to audition for, and it was a yokel. I auditioned, and I got the part, and I got to work with Jake Short, Lorenzo, David, all like one-on-one. -on -one. Dude, it was so great. You want to talk about getting like my first SAG credit? Like, it, if it could have been anything, it had to be this one. This is the year with... Mr. Wizards of Waverly Place and Ant Farm Boy. I mean, come on, bro. I was so excited and it was such a huge moment in my life. Like, that's my first time signing SAG contract paperwork. It's my first time um, getting my own trailer. I think that was like the most unreal part about it. And the simple fact that I had 20 people come up to me every two minutes asking me, are you okay? Can we get you anything? That was that that was that was the surreal part. That's the part that took me. It took a minute for me to get used to because I'm not used to that. Um, I, I loved it, but I, I could definitely I could definitely go for a few more of those. I, I really enjoyed getting to work beside these these wonderful people, and it was an experience that I will never forget. And this was a push. To in exactly where I needed to be and I am so grateful I'm so humbled at the fact that I was chosen for this role and with all of this being said no matter who you are what you've done where you come from there's you have a chance to completely change your life and I do mean change your life folks because it can happen. You just have to keep believing in the goal, in the dream, with what you're trying to accomplish, with what you're trying to do, and these things can happen because you ask anybody from my hometown, anyone that has known that known me bef that knew me before I got into the industry, they will tell you. If I can do it, you guys can work your tail off and you can do it also. Thank you guys so much for joining in on this little spiel about the industry and these wonderful projects with these wonderful people. It was absolutely amazing. I have a house to clean because we have been off for like, where we've been gone for a month working on these projects. And as in what my beautiful girlfriend Ashley said, it looks like a bunch of college kids living here. So, I'm going to clean, then I'm probably going to play Black Ops. You guys take it easy, thank you.